The member for Bonner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer please update the House on the Morrison government's JobKeeper program and, in particular, how this unprecedented economic lifeline has helped millions of Australian families and businesses get through the COVID-19 pandemic? The Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the member for Bonner for his question. Acknowledge his background in small business, Mr. Speaker, and as he reminds me, has been voted by his colleagues as the nicest guy in Parliament House, Mr. Speaker. Now, Mr. Speaker, job keep... <laughs> apologies to the Speaker. The JobKeeper program has been a remarkable program. When Australia was staring into the abyss in the early stages of this pandemic, and Treasury were warning that the unemployment rate could reach as high as 15 per cent and there could be a double-digit fall in economic growth. The JobKeeper program came to the rescue, Mr Speaker. The JobKeeper program, at its peak, was supporting 3.6 million Australian workers and around 1 million Australian businesses. That's nearly one-third of Member all Australian workers and nearly one-half of all Australian businesses, Mr. Speaker. Member now, this Rankin, JobKeeper won't program, again. which has been a rescue package for the Australian community at a time of need, has helped, according to the Reserve Bank of Australia, save around 700,000 jobs, and has been at a cost of around an expected $90 billion. Now, Mr. Speaker, as the economy has strengthened, we have seen thousands and thousands of our fellow Australians graduate off the JobKeeper program. And now preliminary data for the January, uh, month of January from the ATO has shown that there are si around 600,000 fewer Australian workers on JobKeeper in the month of January compared to the December quarter, Mr Speaker, and around 140,000 fewer Australian businesses on JobKeeper in the month of January compared to the December quarter. Mr Speaker, that means that, means that around 2.7 million Australian workers have graduated off JobKeeper, Mr Speaker. Now, that is a sign of an economic recovery that is well underway, and that follows the unemployment rate falling to 6.4 per cent, the underemployment under rate being at its lowest level in many years and up to 94 per cent of the 1.3 million Australians who either lost their jobs or saw their working hours reduced to zero at the start of this pandemic now back at work. So, Mr Speaker, there is a long way to go. There are sectors and regions across the economy that are still doing it tough, and the Morrison government has their back. There's continued economic support that continues to roll out across the economy, and our focus is on creating jobs, and that is what we're seeing right now in the Australian economy.